Fish and chips. Why do you have the pie? No. But I want to try it. So you try it. Yeah, but I want the fish as well. Tough. You always do this when we go out. Right. Mm. Have you guys decided what you're having then? I have. Uh, uh, no, yeah, I think might need another minute, love. All right, I'll just get you drinks. Uh, white wine and... Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, okay. uh, look at him, he's so big. Oh, I slipped. Oh, uh, you slipped. Yeah, you must have spilled something. Uh, don't you try and blame me. Let me help you there. You know, I must apologise for Leanne's clumsiness. Let me make it up to you. No, I just want to go on. Got the wine on the house? No, you're OK. Your meal on the house? Well, as soon as you put it that way. Tim! What, the man's reaching out. OK, uh, fresh drinks, please, Seth, and uh, some napkins. You did that on purpose. Whatever they spend, I'm docking from your wages. You can't do that. Watch me. Hey, can I help? Face fax. Downer. Shirt's almost dry now. I'm oh, good for you. Oh, come on, Sally. Accident's happening. It wasn't an accident, and you flaming well know it. All I know is I'm hungry. Unbelievable. A slap bang in the middle of a domestic meltdown, and all you can think about is your stomach. It's a free meal. Shh. Don't tell me to shh. Uh, sorry for the delay. What are we having? I'll get the uh, lobster cocktail and the rump steak, please. Oh, a bit of surf and turf. Good choice, sir. Where are we the pie? I changed my mind. Customer's prerogative. Sally? Nothing. I don't feel hungry anymore. Don't be daft. Get some at to. Excuse me. Yeah, just a minute. We've been waiting 15 already. I said, just a minute. What can I get you, sir? Don't bother. Thanks for coming. Nick, can I have a quick word, please? Yeah, you can have four. Get back to work. Don't speak to me like that. Sorry, where were we? You were just about to apologise to Liam. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Sally. That's off the menu. Do you know what? I think I'll give it a miss. What? We're leaving. What? Is there any chance we get the food to go? Mate? Now. Yeah, she's all right. Oh, is that the other ship? Got you on that? Yeah, you like it? Yeah, it smells gorgeous. Let me have a smell. Mm. Mmm. Mm, could be just me natural man scent. Ah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you wish. See ya. See you later. She's well nice. Yeah, Tell us when your mouth's empty. So these bailiffs, did they take much? The telly. And loads of other stuff, including my laptop. Are you joking? I got you that. I know. Because I didn't have the receipt. I couldn't prove it with mine. It's not on that. Still, at least managed to kick one of them. You never. Mm. Sure, well, mad. Yeah, I mean, of course, you know, violence. It's not always the answer. No, it certainly isn't. But in this case... What does it actually mean when you become bankrupt? Why? Is that what's happening to Owen? It might. Does it mean we'll have no money? Hmm? Only what would we do about clothes and stuff? Well, that's, that's nothing for you to worry about. Cat on it. Quite like the look of that one. Yeah, it is. There you go, love. I stuck it in the freezer for ten minutes. Oh. You know, I'm so embarrassed. Like, Carla's my boss. She's put all this faith in me, promoting me to PA, and then Maddie goes and ruins it all by nicking a car. Yeah, I know, but... Oh, Tim, it's a tragedy. It's a country and western song that's come to life. Oh, look, Sal, the bottom line is they saved a dog's life, and some folk think that's a good thing. You right, girls? I can't believe what you've done today. Hey, Mum, don't start. Did it say it in the Bible, thou shalt steal cars? Do you want a drink? Tim! What? Maddie's only 17. I can't believe you're condoning everything by offering her the nice wine with the cat on the label. I meant a brew, actually. Oh. Anyway, well. you can talk. What were you doing? Hanging around in milk bars until you were 18. Do you know, I have done nothing wrong today, and yet it appears that we're arguing, and now I wonder whose fault that is. Well... Some parents would be chuffed their kids don't know Good Samaritan number. It takes guts to do what they did today, saving a dog's life. Paul O'Grady had given them the freedom of the city. Yeah, the dog's all right. Good. Let's just hope my job is. Oh, Mum, come on. She can't give you an hard time for something you didn't do. Yeah, but when you think about it, that dog does look a bit like an oversized rat, doesn't it? Don't let Deirdre say that. Look, why don't I go over and speak to Carla? I was a right twit today, and you're going to get done for it, and that's not right. Jason's waiting at the pub. This is all very civilised, meeting for lunch. I thought I was on a bit of a promise. Well, you play your cards right, you never know your luck. <laughs> Ooh, Sally Webster, you evil temperance. <laughs> Napkins at lunchtime, I mean, how classy is that? Not paper ones either, these are proper laundered ones. Mm, anybody think Queen were popping in for a butty and a mug of tea? Well, Her Majesty will be very welcome. My toilet is pristine. Oh! Hold up. What's going on here? 
Uh, me and your mum were going to have a bit of a lie down. <laughs> we're both feeling very tired. Um, Tim, I'm not six. What are you doing here anyway? Uh, my dad's boiler's broke, so we've got no heating or hot water. Well, you have to get yourself some of them wet wipes. Are you for real? No. Mum, please, can we come back and stay here just until it's fixed? Please. Well, I don't see why not. I mean, it'll be nice to have a house full again, won't it, Tim? <sighs> Canteen outdid themselves today. Oh. Do you know if they've got a dog next door? <gasps> no, I don't think so. Because oh, I heard barking in the night, and between that and him sneezing, I didn't get a wink of sleep. Yeah. Did you hear it? Um. Yeah, I I think it was my text alert. What, a dog bark text alert? Don't you think you're a bit old for that? I think I'm coming down with something. I'm going to have to pull a sickie. No, you can't. Oh, come on. It's just a sniffle. If you don't work, you don't earn. Now, come on. I'll see you later. Bye. You come down now. The coast is clear. You are amazing. You know that. You are. You're about to trip some ladders through the house. I didn't think you were in. Oh, so when I'm not here, you do what you want. All right, Soph. Hi. Hi, Soph. Where's Maddie? Um, she's in the back garden watching the sunset. Oh, the sunset's at the front. Oh. Oh. Oh, thank goodness you've changed that text alert. Is it bad news? Yeah. Dev wants me to work tomorrow. Oh, well, you can't afford to turn down good money, Soph. Better bring the washing in. Oh, no, I'll do it. It's all right, I can manage. No, no, it's Listen. fine. Honest, why don't you two go to the Rovers and me and my deal cook? Oh, yeah, yeah, so whiskey might shift this coal. Come on. Well, make sure you fold the washing and don't leave it in a pile to get creased. Yeah. So, you'll have to fill me in with all the factory goss. Now we're going to be workmates. I shouldn't do no such thing, and we're not going to be workmates. You're in packing. What, so he's packing like the dregs? Oh. Well, it's not as high up as the machinist, obviously. I mean, sewing is a skilled profession, whereas packing, well, it's just manual, isn't it? All right. Do you not need your hands to sew, then? Shouldn't you be getting up to work? I will go in a minute. I just need to nip upstairs. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> oh, Tim, <sighs> cover your mouth when you sneeze. I don't want to catch your germs. It's a little cold. I just can't stop sneezing. Last time we were like this is when we were little and looked after the neighbour's dog. Um, shouldn't we be going? I don't want to be late on my first day. Oh, well, it's good to see you, Keen. Yeah, we should be getting off. Maybe I'm allergic to something else, like dust or something. Well, there's no dust in this house. Dust in every house. Not in my house, there isn't. Oh, Michelle asked me to remind you that her windows need cleaning, so you won't forget, will you? <laughs> I take that as a no. Good luck. <laughs> oh. It's Carla who's going to need the luck, not <laughs> her. The luck. <laughs> Oh. Can you eat your dinner off it? <laughs> it's funny that, because that's exactly what the mouse says. Oh, come on, Sally. Headlights prefer clean hair. Maybe mice prefer clean houses. Well, what are they living on? I don't know. But they're about to have Canadian cheddar for the last soup. Oh, hiya. I was the boiler. Yeah, I reckon they can fix it, so we're going to go back to Kevin's later. <laughs> oh, bless you. <sighs> You will do the necessary, won't you, if we if we catch any? Too right. I hate those mises to pieces. Should we have our tea in the rovers tonight? I don't fancy eating with the sound of a mouse being chopped in half. Yeah, all right. You joining us? Uh, no, I'm going to Skype Ben. OK. And no more snacking in the bedroom, mm -hmm. Tim. I mean it. Not so much as a ginger nut. Be down in a minute. I'm being too hard on Maddie. No, it's not one of your traps, is it? Just be honest with me, Tim, and then the ice murder treatment if it's not what you wanted to hear. I don't do that. Well, hmm. hardly ever. I mean, considering everything she's been through, she's a great kid. I mean, she's got a mouth on her and she's a bit untidy and she's very disrespectful. And she thinks rules are for breaking. Oh, that's more like it. But she's kind to animals. What, just animals? And she makes my Sophie very happy. Look at you with a big U-turn.
Who are you talking to? Oh, for heaven's sake. It's not like you weren't expecting him to come back. Well, I better notice it'd have been nice. Well, I only found out this morning. What time? Well, does it matter? You're not still jealous, are you? No. Because you've got no need to be. I'm not jealous, I'm just annoyed at you. Huh? You're not crying, are you? Achoo! Oh. As you know, I think I'm getting a cold. Oh, well, that's a relief for a minute. I thought you turned on the waterworks. And what is that supposed to mean? Don't you turn this around. I'm the one that's annoyed at you. Well, I'm annoyed at you too. What for? For being annoyed at me. Children! My dad's coming back. He knows you're together and you're both happy, so what are you arguing for? Right, so, can we please finish our dinner without the arguments? Thank you. No, we left. Well, what is it? I need to get back to the shop for a couple of hours and then I'll sort it. By the way, you look awful. Oh, thank you, love. Thank you. Now I've lost my appetite. Did you just starve a cold and feed a fever? No, it's the other way around. You know what, Sally Rice made some butternut squash soup. You want to get a bowl of that down you? My nan always used to put all the soil on my pyjamas. Took me up with a hot water bottle of his right as rain in the morning. <laughs> well, thank you all for the medical advice, but I think I'm going to go back to work. Yeah, I need to get back to the shop. How's the window cleaning round going? You all right? I think sauce. HDMI one, it's where the uh, signal comes through. Well, what's the HDM1 2 then? That's the DVD player. I think there's something wrong with the aerial. Oh. Do you really need to have an aerial now? You've got digital. Yeah, of course you need an aerial. Well, I don't know, do I? Do I have to get a man out? No, I'll nip up there later. Could be water damage. Or sometimes it's just air pressure. Or a pigeon might have gnawed through the cable. A pigeon? Yeah, you'll watch them beggars. Well, I hope it's working for tonight, because a new period drama starting tonight. It's got five stars in the Gazette. It's got that girl in it. You know the one who's in everything? Who? Oh, what's her name? You know. You know, she was in that thingy-majig. Oh, well, I'll see what I can do. With the... We do, with all the hair and... Oh, her? Yeah. Lisa? Yeah. Check it now. OK. We've got a signal, but it's breaking up. Is it watchable? Is it watchable? No, it's not watchable. Shall we get a bad out? No! I'll dismantle it and put it back together. Oh, well, hurry up, because I'm feeling awful. Gail says there's a part-time caretaker's job going up Bessie Street. You should apply for it. Can I fix this first? You can get the application form on the internet. All right, I'll do it later. trying to prove you've proved it mm, not talking to you only andrea hey what's all the racket in here dov blimey o'reilly what's he doing up there he said he'll only talk to andrea where is she she's at work dev do us a favor mate bring us back my ladders will you what's he doing up there oh, i'm fixing the aerial there's a 
programme that Sally wants to watch, some period drama. It's got her in it, you know, her with the air. She was in Thingy Me Jig. Oi! These yours? Yeah, they're my ladders. Bring them back. He's pinched them. I want to get. I don't like it up here. Hey! Those ladders are going nowhere till that lunatic is down from my chimney. Right, I'm gonna count to three, and if you've not budged, there's gonna be trouble. Elaine, so what time she finish? It varies, mate. One! Well, what? Steve's mother just said no! But the my ladders! It's my roof! But the weather might change. What do you want? He wants his head testing. That's what he wants. Two. Oh, babe, finally. What's going on? Oh, take a look. What's he doing up there? Does this mean he's coming down? Oh, what's he doing up there? I'm fixing the area. There's a drama on tonight. Our last wants to watch. So? I'll come down on one condition. You break off your engagement. What? He's still married to me. I want you to break it off right now. Break what off? We're not engaged. No more lies. We are not engaged, Neil. I heard you in the pub discussing your wedding, your suit, her dress. Well, we ain't talking about our wedding. We'll be where? But it was, it was hypothetical. You must think I was born yesterday. Look, I was curious about Michelle's new business. I was only being polite. Look, Neil, I wasn't even there. It's the first I've heard of it. You're a liar. You're all liars. Oh, that's it. I'm phoning the police. Oh, hang on. Neil, whatever you've heard, whatever they've said, me and Lloyd, we are not getting married, OK? It's just some misunderstanding. So if that's all you needed to hear... Come on, man! She's given you her word. Hey, Ryan. Right. I'll come down if she promises me one more thing. Well, make it quick. You move back in with me. Oh, right, that's it. Everyone's going. Come on, guys, move along. Nothing to see here. You're beginning to get on my nerves now. Come on, babe, let's go. I tell you what, let's leave him up there, see how he likes it at three o'clock in the morning. What about me? I don't believe it. He's still up there. What's he doing up there? Get quick, Liz has gone in. Bring us me ladders. What's he doing up there? Well, Sally's after watching something. I had five stars in the Gazette. What? Can I have toast with my ravioli? Well, if there's any bread. Don't you want to see how this pans out? Well, just give it a couple of minutes. I've got 68p. Will that be enough to buy us some bread? Maybe we should cancel the swans. Yes, Deb! Come on! Don't you even think about it! Oh, brilliant. Nice one, Deb. Right, what? What did I do? You weren't quick enough! Look, it's getting dark soon. It might rain. Everyone's losing interest. I don't care. I'd rather stay up here. Hey, I'm not losing interest. Oh, I love. Hey, you'll never guess what. Yeah, it's on the table on my mind. Babe, you'll come down when he's good and ready. Sorry, Lloyd. I don't think he will. Wait there, babe. Andrea, get off the ladder. Andrea, come down from that ladder. Honestly, a grown man sat on a chimney. Oi! Spider-Man! That's one ladder you owe me! <gasps> oh, my goodness! Some headcases nicked me ladder. Oh. Go and get Kevin, see if he can come and help us. No, it's fine. I went for a fire engine. Then go! Go on! Your fireman's lift if you hung on. I offered him a piggyback. <laughs> oh, <laughs> leave him alone, the pair of you. Listen, I'm down these things like a rat down a drain pipe usually, but it's flipping freezing up there. Flip my fingers. Oh, oh, copy here. Oh. Do you need a hand? Oh, it's all right, I got it. No, it's OK. I'll uh, just put them down the side. I'll pick them up in a bit. <laughs> I'll catch you later then, yeah? Yeah, good night. Yeah? Why? What's up? You could have been killed. You're not getting rid of me that easy. Oh, come on, let's get you inside. Yeah, and you look at the stuff. Oh, I've oh, Kev, do you fancy a cuppa? Uh, no, it's OK. I said I'll leave with Sophie. Maddie's got a little and so. All right, thanks. All right, cheers, Kev. No problem. <sighs> Can I get you anything? 
Right, yeah. Hey, you'd have been stuffed if you wanted a coffee. Oh, no, there's no need for that, love. We can make do with sign languages. I was dead good at charades when I was a kid. Go on. I. I, 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 robot. I've, I'm not. I'm not in love. That's a shame, that. I quite like 10cc. Sounds like. Referee. Ref, 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 deaf. I'm not deaf! Oh, I see. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Well, you want me to do some shopping? The caretaker's job. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm well up for that. Especially as I lost a couple of houses on the round, I could do with something a bit more secure. I thought they wanted a caretaker, not a new headmaster. It's the deadline today. All right, I'll deal with that. All right, come on, mate. Go on, we're off for a walk. Look, I didn't mean to lie about the job. I was just weighing up the pros and cons, and then I missed the deadline. Well, it was just a stopgap whilst things were slow. I know why you didn't go for it. Sally. Because you'd have to turn up every day and you'd sooner be propping up the bar in the Rovers. Blimey, look at the state of you. What? Oh, ouch, you're burning up, isn't she? Where's that thermometer? Oh, it's there. Uh, isn't she? Yeah, yeah, she is. Look, look, just, is you, it... just, just you rest. Just, just... Is it... No, 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 don't, yeah, don't speak. <laughs> there, there. Look, forget about the job. I just didn't fancy it. Besides, I've already got a job. And I'm nursing you. And you're a bit of a slave driver with all your to-do lists. You fetch this and you fetch that. Sophie, there's cold beer in the fridge. Will you get it for us, please, love? Is that it? We're just gonna sit here all night? Do you remember when one of us was ill when we was little, Mum? We used to play all the board games. Oh, I love board games. You got snakes and ladders? No. Ludo? Mm -mm. Well, you must have drafts. We got a Thano. Oh, a buckle? Oh. Do we have to? Yeah, it's good to use your brain. Go on, Soph, get it out. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, you three play and I'll, um, I'll get on with the iron. Right. Time's up. Right, I'm reading mine first. Oh, this thing's attacking me. Got too much water in it. I've used an iron before, you know, just not one that spits venom. Oh, just come to see how the patient's doing. Oh, well, she's got you ironing. Fair play to yourself. Colour. C O L O R. Nope. Mum <sighs> spelling. How do you spell it? C O L O U R. Not in America. We're not in America. <laughs> Tim, spell colour. I don't know. I don't care. When you was little, and one of you was with Paul, eh? We always played Boggle and they always lost. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy pint, Kev? What, now? Oh. Yeah, surely I'm entitled to an hour off. These two can look after you for a bit. Oh, yeah? Okay. See ya. I'm about so to bring you up a cuppa. That would save you the journey. How are you feeling? Better. My voice has started to come back. Oh, that's a pity. Oh, no, I, I didn't mean it like that. I kind of, kind of liked it when it was husky. It was sort of sexy. Oh, that tongue did to watch a step. Mm. What are you up to today? Uh, well, seeing as the uh, caretaking job's a no-goer, I thought I should focus on what I've got, so I'm going to get some flyers printed and see if I can drum up a bit of business for the round. There's a place in town that does them. I'm going to pop in later. Oh, look at you. Huh? Not just a pretty face, you know? Cheers. What are you doing here? Daddy brought me some magazines. Isn't that kind of a...? Yeah. Did you deliver all your flyers? Yep, all 250 of them. Flyers for what? 
Oh, my window cleaning round. I'm trying to be a bit more proactive. Anyway, cheers for coming round, but I'm home now, so... Yeah, I've got stuff to do anyway. Oh, thanks, Maddie, and thanks for the magazines. You were a bit hard on her, weren't you? She only came round to see how I was doing. Oh, I didn't mean it like that. I just didn't want her tiring you out. I'm fine. I'm definitely on the mend. Yeah, that's exactly what my uncle said after he had pneumonia. Two days later, he was dead. Why, well, he came back. The pneumonia? No, he was walking past the building site. Some scaffolding fell on him. But it just goes to show you can't be too careful. It's fine. Glass of red? Yeah. Hello? How can I help you? Sorry, what was that? No, oh, I, I said, how can I help you? Oh, thank you. I don't normally sound like this, but I've got a sore throat. No, a sore throat. Give it, give it to me, Sally. Oh, well, that was my boyfriend. Would you like to speak to him? Because he's the one who's running the show. Sally, just give Tim the phone. What did you say? No, that certainly was not an offer. And don't we listen up again, you sex fiend? You'll never guess what a pervert has just said to me. Well, well I've, I've, I've got a good idea. I'm on your phone as well. You need to change your number. Yeah, it's not the only thing that he needs to change. Tim? I can explain. Mm. All of them? 250? We got most of them back, though. Oh, I bet you've had a right laugh. I bet you've loved this, haven't you? Not really, no. Although, I did rather enjoy wiping the smirk off Boris's face. Oh, not Norris. I mean, anybody but Norris. I think you're blowing it out of proportion, love. Yeah, it's not like a real pimp goes around handing out flyers. Yeah, but Emily and Norris wouldn't know that. He was just trying to get extra work. How stupid can you be? It was a simple mistake. Yeah, simple is about right. There's no need for that. Now, can we just have an argument in private, please? No, forget it. I'm going to bed, and when I wake up, I want this all sorted, and you can start by switching off this phone and keeping it switched off for at least... Two years! So, would you buy boxes from them? Probably, yeah. Oh, come on. I mean, Calvin Klein's one thing, but waffles ruined your waistband. Well, in my day, it was only your missus that saw your flaming waistband. Well, oh, times have changed. Yeah, maybe even up for the better. After labouring on building sites, I've seen enough blokes' backsides to last me a lifetime. <laughs> Liz, bandits at three o'clock. You've had that time nigh on 20 years. Oh, you know me. Why don't you get me money's worth? Yes, I do know you. It's not worth splashing out, is it? They'll probably be divorced by the end of the year. <laughs> You're right there, Paul. You all right, Emily? She must be trying to smuggle him out. It can't be that bad, surely. Mate, anyone saying I do to Tracy Barlow is like a turkey voting for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Please, don't encourage him. But they work together. I wish this on my worst enemy. <laughs> well, that's it, isn't it? She's most folks' worst enemy. Hey, look around us. Don't hear make up the numbers. Yeah, I noticed you accepted the invite, though. Uh-huh. I didn't want to be rude. Yeah, and you knew there'd be a decent spread. Well, yeah, that was well. Oh, <laughs> shameless. Yeah, gasping and all. Right, let me see if I can scare up a bit. Do you fancy one? Yeah, go on then. What? Just making a bit of an effort to get on. Yeah, and ignoring me at the same time. Oh, please tell me that you're not feeling jealous. Actually... I'm feeling something more fun. Fun? Do you remember the last wedding we went to? Well, they've got four poster beds in some of the rooms here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was thinking, when we get the all clear from the police, we could just slip off. All right, stop drilling your struck oil. Well, you could get bladdered with my ex. Can't do both. Cheers, mate. Cheers, pal. Yes. How was parents' evening? Fine. Just fine? Mm, that's what it is. When the girls were growing up, it used to be the highlight of my year. 
The teachers actually didn't have enough adjectives to describe them. You're bright, committed, even gifted. I always used to feel incredibly validated. I'm sure you know that feeling. Yeah. Because if they're struggling, it's nothing to be ashamed of. What are you on about? Well, some girls are just late bloomers. Faye's doing brilliantly. So why the face, then? I haven't got a face. And that tone, I mean, you're obviously more comfortable talking to Anna about it than you are me. All right, you've lost me. Well, I couldn't help noticing you were spending quite a lot of time over there and then that friendly hog. You've been spying on me? I only looked out of the window. Why, have you got something to hide? Don't be daft. Well, I, I ain't bad mouthing her, but... Anna can be a bit pushy, you know? She's one of them parents that's always on the teacher's case. I was just trying to get her to cut for a bit of slack, that's all. Oh, well, in that case, why don't I have a word with her? I could tell her my experiences. No. No, she's, uh, she's an incredibly proud woman. We're missing it. Subtitles, but I told her it hasn't got subtitles. But she said she still don't want to come because it sounds rubbish. Well, what's it about? Vampires that work in a shop. I think they got mad or something. <laughs> what? Repressing the biscuits? Well, I don't know, do I? I just got them free off my phone. Mm, do you know I'm with Maddie? Um, please. We've not been out for ages together. Well, even if I wanted to, I can't because Tim and I've got plans. Hey. Tonight. You know, date night. We're gonna stay in, bottle of wine, cuddle up on the sofa. Oh. Too much information. You know, we organised it on Friday. Oh, I forgot. Oh, that's a good job I reminded you. Well, the thing is, um, I said I'd meet wrong John for a pint because his divorce papers came through. Can we do it tomorrow, babes? Oh, you can come and see the vampires with me. See, every cloud. All right, I best get off. See you later. See ya. Oh, don't look so sad, Mum. It might not be that bad. Oh, it's not going on. What are you on about? Well, it's not been himself this week. <laughs> Forgetful, clumsy, late. Yeah, he has. No, he's just been cagey with me. You sure you're not being paranoid? No, there's something he's hiding. That much I'm sure of. And if he is having an affair, I better wish he wasn't. I'm joking. <sighs> Got your text. What's going on? We're having our date night, that's what. But I... Well, you can tell your mate that you can comfort him about his divorce tomorrow night because your relationship is much more important. I thought you two were going out. I'm going to go with Maddie now. Um, hey, don't my mum look nice? Yeah, of course she does. I mean, you look gorgeous. Wow. Oh, oh sorry, hang on. Um, I'm going to go. Who's that? Uh, wrong number. How do you know? Well, I don't recognise the number. You do look beautiful. Come here. <laughs> you can't just raid the fridge whenever you come round. Found my top. Well, Kevin hasn't been shopping, so the only things in our fridge are beer, mustard, and Jack's favourite mini pizzas. Oh. Hey, Mum, I forgot to ask you. Um, how was last night? It was fine. What are you doing for tea tonight? Well, why don't you come round later and I'll I'll cook you something. Love you. Mm. Thank you. Oh, uh. You've run out of brown sauce. You're not going to get that. Trying to avoid someone. All right, Paul. No, I'm just with Sally now. But two o'clock. Okay, nice one. Yep, yeah, bye, bye. Who's that? Oh, it's me mate. He wants me to help him move his flat. I'm going to be up that way anyway, so. <sighs> Very nice. Thirties. She must have been freezing. Nobody. She was in her 30s. Nobody wants to see that. Pour it away. Since when was there an age limit on wearing a crop top? No, but you're being serious. Nobody over 25 should wear anything like that. It's not attractive. Well, I think you might change your mind when you reach that age. People should just wear whatever they want and if they've got the body for it. Why not? <sighs> well, uh, Sally could pull it off. What do you reckon, Tim? What? A crop top. Yeah, you've got a great figure, love. You're late home? Yeah, I had to do that detached house on Inkman Street. The woman said I'd left streaks on the windows. I thought you were helping your mate. No, that was this morning, then I finished the round. I thought you were helping your mate at two. 
Uh, yeah, well, I was, but we did it this morning instead. What's for tea? Sweet and sour, made from fresh, from a jar from Fresh Goes. Great. You're not going to sit and eat like that, are you? No, I'm going to get changed. Are you all right? Rice and oven chips. It's about the lasagna. Not really. I made it myself, with a little secret my mother taught me. Right. <laughs> Is uh, Anna not working today? No. She asked me to cover for her last minute. I'm always happy to help. Uh, you're not going to finish your sandwich? No, I'm not hungry. I shouldn't really tell you. Mother swore me to secrecy. Can't, you've barely touched I it. I said I'm not hungry. Are you all right, Phil? I know you've hardly said two words. Orange zest. Hey? That's the secret in the lasagna. The merest tint of orange zest. It gives it a real zing. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it was a bit zingy. Eh? What? Who puts oranges in a lasagna? I'm lucky she didn't put a banana in my tuna sandwich. <laughs> you said you'd be here 40 minutes ago. Yeah, I know. Sorry. I'm going to work. Tim, leave her. Very civilised. Great way to start the week. Yeah, too right. Yeah, I'll come round every Monday with me washing if you want. Don't push it. Are you sure you've given him enough? Well, a man needs his meat when he's doing a hard day's work. Hey, look at that toast, Soph. I want to dip my egg. Yes, Your Highness. I thought it was in the doghouse. It is. So, what's with this perfect wifey routine? Well, I'm going to lull him into a false sense of security and then I'm going to be watching him. So, is it as good as the breakfast you get at Roy's? Oh, it's better. Correct answer. Got much on today? Oh, you know, the usual. Like what? Nothing exciting. Oh, proper mine of information you are. Well, there's nothing to tell. Up a ladder, bit of squeegee action, down the ladder, repeat. So you're going to be working all day, then? Blimey, Sal, I'll give him a break. <sighs> you looking forward to your school trip? Sal? So? Oh, thank you. Look, Mum, when he comes home, you can just confront him oh, and... You know what he's like. He can light the drop of a hat. I've seen him in action, remember? Oh, do you know what? I'm not having this. I'm not sitting here feeling sorry for myself. I want to hear what that low life has to say. Right, well, I'll come with you. There's no need. But, Mum! I'm fine. Yeah. Have a go at this. Come on. Come. There you go. Two. Panda cubs. Boat born. In Edinburgh Anyone? Zoo. Hey, you got Edinburgh well done. Y yin and Yang, Yang ate their own body weight in bamboo. Oh, you're guessing. You're looking at the pictures and you're guessing. <laughs> How did you know it was Edinburgh? Because the zookeeper's having a tin of iron brew. <laughs> Sally. What exactly is going on here? Sally, please don't jump to any conclusions. I knew something was going on. I knew it. Oh, no, listen, love, listen. Oh, don't you dare talk to me, you sad old cow. Why her? Of all people, I thought you had a bit of taste. There's nothing going on. Oh, of course not. That's why you've been sneaking off on your sordid little assignations. You're going to have to tell her, Tim. We need to talk about this. Why? Have you got the story straight in your head now? No, it wasn't like that. Don't insult me by telling me all your lies. I stuck up for you. I was on your side. Just leave her alone, Tim. We'll just stay out of this, Sophie, all right? I've punished you before and I've been more than happy to do it again. So Get off me or I swear. Go away. <sighs> Will you blame yourself, Mum? over and over again, starting at secondary school with Danny O'Malley two-timing me with Jeanette Bathurst. Well, what did Tim have to say for himself? Oof. Well, he's not even denied it. No, he hasn't. I must be so stupid. No, you're not. He had us all fooled. Sally! Sally! 
You've got it all wrong, honest. Right. Well, you're not going to let him in, are you? How am I here? I'm getting shut of him properly. Sally, please let me explain. I love you. Tim, I am warning you. Move away from the door. Sally, you've got it all wrong. Do you know what? Two more seconds and the bug brush is going through the letterbox. <sighs> you haven't told her yet, have you? She won't listen. Oi! Sally, talk to me. Oh, there she is, and a slutty windass. Mum! Oh, go Sally. <laughs> you want him? You can have him. What's going on? <laughs> oh, for goodness sake, just tell her. I don't need telling. I've got eyes in my head. Sally, you've got it wrong. I love you. Oh, well, you've got a funny way of showing it. Look, I've not been playing away. Just let me in. No chance. We need to talk about this in private. You are never stepping foot in my house ever again. No, she's been teaching me how to read. Liar. Why would I lie about that and show myself up in front of everybody? I can't read. Anna's been helping me. He's telling the truth. About the reading, anyway. What? You knew and you didn't even say anything. You told me not to. Oh, look, don't you two start, eh? All right, we'll get off then, yeah? Yeah. Give me a text if you need me, Emma. I will. Thanks, love. Look, Sorry I'm about your clothes. Do you know, I can't believe I lived with you for the best part of a year and I didn't notice. The thing is, Sally, I did nothing but muck about when I was at school. It wasn't cool to be a boffin. I wish I'd have known about Professor Brian Cox back then, eh? How come your parents didn't pick up on it? Didn't have any books. Well, we weren't exactly literary, but my mum did have a Jackie Collins on the go. Listen, love, I'm not going to give you some big sub story. I was lazy. I found it hard and then I gave up. The longer I got away with it, the less it seemed to matter and then it got too late. But how do you manage? A busket. See it the pants. Look, it's, it's a struggle. I'm not going to deny it, but you do what you do to get by, don't you? I can't believe that I've kept it to myself all of these years. Now everyone's going to know. They're going to think I'm thick as pig muck. And as for Faye, I've let her down so many times. Faye, I'll understand. You know, I can't believe that you told Maddie and Anna, but you couldn't tell me. I thought you'd be ashamed of me. <laughs> Why couldn't you trust me? You must think I'm so small-minded. Well, I didn't when you're feeling sorry for me and making a fuss. You know, when I found out that Sophie was a lesbian, I was absolutely fine with it. Eventually. No, I wasn't fine with it. I was mortified. She actually ran away because she didn't dare tell me. Well, that was a long time ago. You're great with her now. And now you confided in Anna Windass because you didn't dare tell me. Well, I didn't mean to. That was down to Faye, really. She went and volunteered me for that school auction. I was panicking because I knew that I couldn't do it. What did you think I'd do, honestly? I don't know. No, if you'd confided in me, what did you think I was going to do? Laugh at you? Dump you? Well, if I'd have told you on our first date, I wouldn't have seen you for dust. There is no right time to tell someone. Boom. Anna, I am so sorry about our little misunderstanding. I know I came across a, a teeny bit OTT. Well, don't worry about it, Sally. We all make mistakes. Oh. Well, thank you. That's very gracious of you. You've heard the news, then? Your dad's a dimwit. You can read. I've seen you do it loads of times. No, you think you've seen me do it. No, I have seen you do it. That time I gave that letter from school. About the trip? Yeah, but you'd already told me about the trip. I was just guessing what was in it. You see, that's what I've been doing. I've, I've been guessing. Well, what about when the time you got in touch? You sent me messages. Well, no, I had, I, had a, I had a mate help me do that. He was as bad as me, so... I've hated lying to you, Faye. I'm really sorry. You must be dead clever. What? Keeping a massive secret like that for all that time. I won't be able to do it. So you are going to forgive me, then, for being a bit unnecessary? And a slutty wind ass will have to get back to you on that one. 
after. Oh. Yeah, there's no rush. Keeps threatening to rain anyhow. <laughs> you have more time off for rain than a cricketer. I like cricket. I used to go to Old Trafford when I was skiving off school. I saw the windies rip through England's top order. So you've been sneaking off, avoiding your problems all your life, have you? Sally, I'm really sorry that I didn't tell you. It's a horrible thing to have to admit. I know, but now it's come out, you just got to face it. Well, now it's come out and I feel worse. Everybody knows. No, well, people won't think any less of you. Just make sure I see all the bills from now on. I suppose they just want to know. Oh, so you did go to work then? <laughs> yeah, there's only so long you can sit there feeling sorry for yourself. I'm glad I went. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I told you. Yeah, people didn't stare at me. In fact, nobody said, oh, the one that did was really nice. Mm, that's good. Yeah, you're right, Sal. I should have said. Hi, love. Hiya. You all right? Yeah. I've just come to say, if you want me to teach you how to read, I don't mind. I'm really good. I've read all the Harry Potters and the Twilight Saga. <laughs> well, I think I'll start with the Daily Mirror, if that's OK. Whatever you like. I'll be dead patient. I know you will, and it's kind of you to offer, but I'd rather not. If you change your mind, you know where I am. Thanks. Mm. He came here after his wife passed away. He's not really done... Right, come and sit at the table. You what? I'm going to help you to read. The education system might have let you down, but I won't. Oh, do I have to? Yes, you do. I've looked on the internet and I've got loads of ideas and there's some of Rosie and Sophie's old school work. OK, thank you, Sam. Miss Webster, to you. Oh, I quite like that. Nice one. She didn't look too happy, did she? Word bingo. Word bingo? Yeah, it's like ordinary bingo, but instead of numbers, it's words. Bingo is what old ladies do down the Weatherfield Alhambra. Yeah, well, this is just one of the modules on the course. Come on, it'll be fun. Anyway, eyes down, number one. Bread, as in loaf. Tell you what, that Alia's got a nerve talking to me like she knows everything. Bread, bread, bread. I mean, just because she's been to university. Ah, oh, there it is. There's no R. Oh, that's bead. Very similar to bread, so well done. But how can you have two pronunciations with the same letters? Well, it's just the way language works. Yeah, but how do I know which is which? We well, just have to remember. <sighs> right, we haven't found bread, so let's move on. OK. Four, as in the number four. I mean, I could be training Alia to take over from me when you think about it. In fact, the better I teach her, the more likely that is to happen. Do you mind? I'm trying to concentrate. Sorry. I've got flour, as in what you bake with. No, you want four. Yeah, I know I want four. I'm just saying I've got flour, which means I can't be that far off. Well, it's very good you recognise that. Can you be any more patronising? I'm just trying to be encouraging. Why is it we say four, but we say flower? I don't know. I'm not a teacher. Oh, what's the point? Have you got four? No. Right, well, let's move on. We'll be here all night. Do you know what? I'd rather... It's only a bowl of cereal. It's nice to have someone to look forward to at the end of the day. Other than coming home to me, you mean? Well, yeah, obviously. It goes without saying. <laughs> but you know when you're hungry, it's nice to be able to visualise your dinner. Well, what do you fancy? I don't know. I'm not fussed. Fine, we'll have fish. Oh, I don't fancy fish. Well, you might fancy it come six o'clock. Oh, no, no, no. There was a fishy documentary on the telly last night after you'd gone to bed. It had the ugliest thing in the world in it. Well, was it a cod? No, I doubt it. It had big curly teeth and lived at the bottom of the Pacific. Right, well, I've cod then. Oh, no, no. A fish is a fish. It's going to take me a while to get over that ugly thing. I'll just get a pie. A pie? Pies are comfort food. I'd rather save that for a rough day. Well, you might have one yet. You're certainly starting out the right way. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to blow a pie on what could be a perfectly nice day. It'd be a waste. I'll tell you what is a waste. This of my time. I've got a factory to run and clients to meet, so why don't you make a decision for once in your life instead of palming everything off on me? 
There you go. Are you going to tell me what is going on? What do you mean, what's going on? Well, you meet me from work, you bring me in here, you ply me with drink, you're know, up to something. You've got a very suspicious mind, you have. If you didn't have an amazing body to go with it, I might look elsewhere. Compliments as well. What have you done? All right, I'm busted, but don't worry. I've got a surprise waiting for you at home, and you are going to love it. God knows what she's going to say when she claps her eyes on it. Oh, would I love to be a fly on that wall? <laughs> it's a bit you moved. You'd have heard most of the action. Hi, are you feeling better? Don't wait up. OK. No peeking. No peeking. <laughs> Come on, let me see. One, two... What are you doing? I'm waiting for three. No, 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 no. Three's when you open your eyes. Well, you want me to go on two. Nobody goes on two. Just open your eyes. Ta da! What do you reckon? I think she's a little bit stuck for words. <laughs> what is this thing doing in my house? I got it for you. It's dead comfy. Yeah, it is, Mum, to be fair. Looks like Mick Jagger's blowing a flaming raspberry. No, no, no. It's dead posh. She's made from Italian cowhide. I don't give a stuff where the cows are from, and I very much doubt they were bright red. How could you? How could you inflict this on me without so much as a conversation? You've been telling me to be more decisive. You know, if you don't bring my old sofa back and take this one away, the only decision you're going to be making is which end of this monstrosity you're sticking your head tonight. <sighs> Maybe it'll grow, won't I? <laughs> <laughs> I told you, you look dead flushed. Oh, well, I'll match that awful sofa then, won't I? Oh, but the only thing in the house that does. Keep your hair on. Oh, nice, Hal. OK. Well, what do you think? Where's my sofa? Oh, well, Sam, I saw it. It was in your living room. Oh, Look nice. don't wind me up, Kevin, cos I'm not in the mood. I want my sofa back now. I'm sorry, but me and Tim shook hands on it, didn't we, mate? Y yeah, I know we did. Well, we had no right shaking hands on anything. It wasn't his to part with. That's my sofa. Oh, no, as I remember, we bought it between us. No, I chose it. I picked it to go with the curtains. It was bought for my house. No, we bought it for the family. And seeing that two of us live over here, I reckon it's exactly where it belongs. Come on, mate, help us out here, will you? Sorry, mate, but a deal's a deal. The sofa was taken from over the road without my authority. The law will be on my side. Maybe. But you know what to say about the law, love? Possessions, nine tenths of it. Nine eight. Tidy. No, I trashed the place. It's fine. I even washed up the cup you left. Ooh, I like your sofa. Dear. Yeah, a mate of my dad's has got something similar. I think it cost him an arm and a leg. He only has the best. What do you really think it's quality? Well, it won't be the same make. I don't know. It came out of a house in Ale Barnes. So it's second hand. See you tomorrow. Right. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> oh, you are really excelling yourself today. What? Telling her it was second hand. It'll be all over the factory tomorrow. What well, do you seem to like it? Well, what does she know? She's a kid. And she got a degree in design or something? Oh, if somebody mentions that degree one more time, I swear I shall scream. <sighs> you never mentioned Hale Barnes earlier. Well, I didn't think it was relevant. You making a brew? No. Mm. I just wanted to. Oh, make me own, shall I? This is for you. Oh, cheers. Ginger nut. Well, seeing as you're offering. Just make sure you don't get crumbs on the new sofa. I thought you didn't care. Well, maybe I was being a bit hasty. I'd, I'd had a bad day babysitting Alia, but now I've had time to reflect and get some proper perspective. Really? I'm seeing it in a whole new light. It's. It's actually quite stylish. Stylish? Yeah. And well, it's bound to be, cos it's a liqueur. It's part of their Manhattan range. You know, these sell for over £2,000. But I thought you said it was a monstrosity. No, a liqueur, part of the Manhattan range. Right. I'm so proud of you, Tim. Right. You know, if you did want that reading lesson, we could always have it upstairs. Well, I suppose you should keep me hand in. I'll just finish my biscuit. <laughs> All right, well, I'll see you up there then. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you little beauty! <laughs> Boots off my sofa. What? Uh, give 
me that cereal. Are you out of your mind? Well, I always eat my cereal watching telly. Yeah, on the old sofa, maybe, but from now on, you eat your cereal at the kitchen table and you leave your boots at the front door. Why? 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 It's wiped clean. And no sharp objects in your pockets. Like what? Well, I don't know. You carry a pen knife, don't you? A pen knife? Who do you think I am? Just William. What would I be doing with a pen knife? And keys. Watch your keys, cos they might pierce it. It's a sofa. Oh. Oh, I love this time of year. Just relax. They're crisps, Tim. They get everywhere. And they're grease. He's nearly finished him. Where's he going to wipe his hands? Oh, do you give it a rest? And I don't want to do any homework on it later. I don't want pen anywhere near that sofa, Tim. She'll use pencils. Sharp nibs, sharp nibs. No homework on the sofa, Faye. You've got to use the kitchen table. OK. Hey, speaking of homework, what are you going to store for me tonight? We're going to crack on with the phonetics. Lines, that's what we're doing. I will not put my dirty boots on Sally's sofa. I will not put my dirty boots on Sally's sofa. Something tells me I'm out of my depth. Yeah, something tells me I am and all. Is it true you're doing the school arch, Mr Metcalf? Uh, yeah, hopefully, Craig, yeah. It's going to be sick. Can I have a night off tonight? at the door. You know what did he want? He wanted to buy it back off me for 400 quid. We're well, not tempted. What, make a loss of... 2,100? Two... Anyway, it's not the money, it's the principle. He was so smug yesterday. Stubborn and smug. I don't miss those qualities. Mm, not even qualities. Yeah. Where did Fame Craig go? Oh, I kicked him out. I didn't want to leave him alone in your pride and joy. Do you know, he seems a nice enough lad, considering who his mum is. You don't think they're boyfriend and girlfriend, do you? No, he's way older than she is. Well, girls that age like an older man. No, she's far too young for that malarkey. So where should we go tonight? Should we go to the bistro, save on going into town? Two for one on puddings at the moment. The bistro it is. <laughs> go on, you can have another bottle of this. What's the matter? Hey, Sam. Hi, Nick. Sally, isn't that your ex-wife's name? Oh, who's this, Kevin? Hey, Sally, this is Diane. I was just hearing all about you. Oh, well, I hope he told you the truth, that I was the one on the receiving end. I'm on your side, 100%. <laughs> oh, well, this is my partner, Tim. As you might notice, he's a little bit younger than Kevin. Come on, Sally, let's get a table. Oh, Kevin Webster drinking wine. Join us if you like. Uh, no, I don't think we should. No, I, I don't think it's a good idea either. <laughs> Listen to them. Terrified. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I'm going to say about you, Kevin? Look, I could rearrange the table. So, you know, you're eating? Uh, well, have you ordered? Uh, chicken liver pate followed by the linguine. I'll have the same. Tim? Uh, I love whatever he's having. So how did you and Kevin meet? Oh, he drove through a puddle and splashed me. Well, you old romantic. You should have been paying more attention. It's funny, isn't it? Something so random and out of that came 24 years of marriage and two wonderful girls. I thought Kevin had his midlife crisis. Well, if you want to start making lists, grab us a pen. Yeah, we've all had our moments. No need to go calling people names. So, I'm intrigued. How did Kevin persuade a lady like you to come to dinner? Look, it doesn't matter. You won't be interested. I'm very interested. <laughs> Well, we were actually drawn into each other's orbits by a so By so fair, agreeing to babysit from it, which was very nice of her. And then Diane wanted me to look at her exhaust. That's not exactly right. You see, it was my husband who first crossed paths with Kevin. Oh, you're married? Uh, not for much longer. We're about to embark on divorce proceedings. Oh, he's not up to scratch. Shall I tell you the story? Talk amongst yourself, boys. <laughs> He had been knocking off women right and left for the best part of 15 years. <sighs> so then, two months ago, we went to a wedding. He wouldn't dance, so I danced with his cousin. That night, he accused me of all sorts, said I was putting myself about, that he was embarrassed by me. Oh, hypocrite! Then he said he wanted out, so we separated. A week later, he went to a party with his 26-year-old secretary. Oh. How old was Molly, Kevin? Apparently, they danced all night, and now he's selling off my furniture. Uh, anybody want another drink? 
Oh, well, should we get another bottle? That wine's lovely. Uh, I'll have to cab at home. Oh, well, there's a taxi rank at the end of the road. Well, Diane lives in Hale Barnes, don't we? <gasps> Hale Barnes? I love Hale Barnes. Kevin used to drive me around it, didn't he, Kevin, when we were young and in love? What do you do for a living, Tim? He's in the window business. Oh, what kind? Uh, glass and um, double glazed, French, stained. Where he covers the whole spectrum. Mm. Without soapy water and a leather chamois. How's the linguine? Stunning. She took the words right out of my mouth. Tim, <laughs> one at the moment. Tim. <laughs> He's joking, obviously. <laughs> it's just a stroll across the street. I mean, that's why we like it. It's so convenient. Because usually we're going to Manchester or down to Didsbury or Wilmslow or Alderley Edge. And... Do we ever go to Alderley Edge? It's just nice having somewhere on the doorstep, you know, that isn't the Rovers. That's the pub on the corner. I don't usually go in there unless one of the girls from work drags me in there. I was in there this afternoon. I quite liked it. Perfectly serviceable if you want a glass of red wine, you know, and you want somewhere rough and ready where you don't have to get dressed up and you can wear your jeans. Do you live on the street? Oh, yeah, we're just 15 paces down there. You could come for a nightcap if you want. No, no, I don't think they'd like to do that. I would love to. Kevin, don't be so rude. Yeah, I could show you my new suit. Nick, Nick, can we have the bill when you're ready, please? Kevin, Diane's still eating. Oh, honestly, it's so uncouth. Couth. You can show me your new... What did you say? Oh, my... Ow! What's up? Ah! He's stung by a wasp. So, go and get some ointment off Nick. Ah. Wasp? This time of year? Yeah, it was a massive one and all. Oh, rubbish. I don't believe you. Oh, that... I saw it. It was the size of a zeppelin. Yeah, I don't know. It was that missing tarantula from Freshco's. What is going on with you two? So what are we doing? Are we paying our own way or what? Oh, Tim, don't be ridiculous. We're going to split it down the middle, ignore him. I'm buying. Maybe it was a date after all. Oh, <laughs> that's a first. Hey, don't bad mouth him when he's trying to impress her. I'm not trying to impress anyone. I'm just paying for our tea. You can't pay for us at all. No, just let him. Well, you just give me half when they're not looking. Mm. It's been a while since I've been treated. Oh, well, you keep your purse in your pocket for as long as you can. <laughs> I'm just going to nip to the little girl's room. Oh, do you, are you coming with me? Yeah, I'm right behind you. Uh, Sally, can I have a quick word with you before you go, please? What about? It's just about arrangements for tomorrow. Wow, what's happening tomorrow? Uh, just catch up with me. Yeah. embarrassing. What's all this about a wasp? Look, Sal, there's something you need to know. We would have told you the second you come in, but we've just not had a chance. You're scaring me. That sofa is Diane's. What? Her husband sold it to Kevin without Diane knowing, and then he went and told her what he'd done. So Diane rocks up at Kevin's, and Kevin's been lying for your sake. He's been trying to help her get it back all day by telling her he sold it to a bloke down the pub. Barney. Who? So if we go back to ours, she'll see it and he'll be exposed as a fraud. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So we can't come back to yours. Don't be ridiculous. Diane has been treated despicably and all this time you've been fibbing to her. No, I'm sorry, but she deserves to get her sofa back. Mm, see? So if you keep quiet, he pulls and you need to keep your phone for her. Oh, but she's so nice and elegant. I'm sure we could come to some sort of understanding. It's a little cool part there, Manhattan range. I know, but still. It's two and a half grand. Everything OK? Oh, Diane, I'm ever so sorry, but I've got a terrible migraine coming on. Oh, no. She gets some from time to time. I best get her over lying down. It's the only thing that helps. Uh, could we take a rain check on the nightcap? Of course we can, as long as we do it again sometime. Oh, absolutely. I insist. All right, come on then. Let's get everyone home. So, down in Hell Barnes. I'd love to be. I should give you my number. Here. Oh. I'd give you mine, but I've left them in the office. And I hope the migraine clears up. Oh. Thanks. Oi! Sally Webster, thought you weren't going out. Oh, hi, Sean. Well, we had a change of plan. We've been out to dinner with some friends. She can kill bombs. <laughs> He's somebody I work with. He's gay. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> good night, love. Good night, Tim. Uh, good night. Oh. Not drunk? I didn't say you were. 
Tim, life's so unfair. Well, you've been unfair. A two and a half grand sofa just landed on your lap. Yeah, and now I don't get to keep it. What she sees in Kevin, God only knows. Well, maybe she doesn't see anything in him. Maybe she just wants a sofa back. No, I saw when she looked at him. She was so classy. Did you see those shoes she was wearing? And not the slightest bit snooty. The most sophisticated people are usually the most down-to-earth people. Yeah. If I ever became friends with her, I'd have to invite her around eventually. Why have you put me in this impossible situation? Well, what did I do? Well, if it wasn't for you and Kevin and your harebrained schemes, none of this would have happened. Well, you can't have both. It's either Diane or the sofa. Sorry. It was only a sofa. We lost our whole house. Do you want me to sponsor you or not? They look ridiculous. But it's a practical, stylish solution. Have you been rehearsing that? Well, I did offer to get the wicker one in out of the conservatory. Wicker? In the living room? The Lacour is leaving a void. <sighs> Come on, love, you'll be late for work. Dad, mm. is it just you? Two pounds an hour, or is Sally sponsoring me as well? What, sponsored silence? Uh, put me down for the same. Wicked. I told Mum you weren't tight. You sure you don't mind about me not comparing? I hate to let you down. You're not ready. I totally get it. Good, thanks for understanding and being grown up about it. You welks. You know, I bet Diane is sat on my La Court range right now. Cafetiere on the go, organic yoghurt, blueberries. Oh, and gin. Sally, you shouldn't compare yourself to others. It makes you vain and depressed. Oh, Diane was different, though. She got me. I mean, we were on the same wavelength. I know. I mean, it's very lonely in middle management. I've got no kindred spirits in that place. Well, you have a laugh, though, don't you? Oh, I go through the motions, but I'm betwixt and between. Right. With Diane, it just felt... Well, we were in sync. Owen said she was well mad about you stealing a couch. These are dead comfy, like hammocks. There you go. They don't support your lower back, the murder to get out of, all the colours clash, and they're dead chairs. Well, let's get a red pleather one in HP. I don't want pleather. When you've sat on the Manhattan range, you can't settle for cheap imitations. There's going to be a new bezzy, mate. <sighs> White line spitzer? No, I'm not stopping. Although the seats in here are much more comfortable than those deck chairs. I told you, just till we get sorted. Yeah, which is when? Mm. January sales. What, all the stock nobody wants? I want a new sofa for Christmas. But that's two weeks away, love. No pleather, no PVC, no shop soil, tasteful, ergonomic and well-designed. Mm. Get that, Timothy. I still think Kev should give us back the original. Well, we've been through this. Me and Sally bought that together and she agreed I could have it. Yeah, but we're on deck chairs, mate. These four of us live over there. The sofa stays put. I did you a favour. You're wasting your breath. Day, I'm a spot on about you. You're a crook. Yeah, a crook with a nice comfy settee to sink into. And she was way too classy for you. Will you stop bickering the pair of you? And watch my lips. I am not watching the Queen's speech from a deck chair. <laughs> Come back to check you were doing your errands, and it's a good job I did. Yeah, yeah I was just about to leave. Ah, oh, well, I've got some more things to add to my list. Oh, I hate lists. Oh, I love lists. Candied chestnuts, brandy butter. Do you know, I'm thinking about making my own table centrepiece this year. You know, berries, bundles of cinnamon sticks, slices of dried oranges. I want it to capture the essence of a Victorian Christmas. I thought Victorian times were all about cholera and kids up chimneys. Right, move your backside, because the sooner you start, the quicker it's done. Well, can't you do it for me, Sal, because I'm still having a bit of problem with me reading. Oh, well, don't worry about that. I've got you an Aid memoir. And another thing, I want you to get a shot of these deck chairs. I'm not sitting on them dining chairs, Sally. Do me back in. Now, get rid of them. They're making this place look like a DOS house. We need a new sofa. Well, I told you we'd never get one in time for Christmas. I don't care how you do it, beg, steal or borrow, but I want you to get us a sofa for Christmas Day. No excuses. What are you doing here? You told me the boss was out, so I thought I'd pop in. Oh, bring us a cuppa, will you, Alia? And get us a biscuit, cos my blood sugar levels are plummeting. Uh, door. Got us a sofa. Really? Yep, it was in the window at the cabin, so I sneaked it out when Norris was distracted. Brown, orange and yellow? Yeah, it's velvety now. What is that? It's absolutely hideous. You're joking, aren't you? Do I look like I'm joking? I would rather sit on a sack of spuds. 
Hmm. Alia is getting her granddad some sort of garden furniture. I bet it's some big fancy gazebo or an arbor. They'll have better furniture in the garden than we will in the living room. Hmm. Sorry, I've got to ask. Would you like a drink? Yeah. No, he doesn't. He's got things to do. Hmm. She's never been away. Cheers for that, Kev. You're a good lad. Well, you scratch my back. Brown women scrapping up a glazed hat. Hair extensions flying everywhere. Hey, Kevin. Oh, my old sofa. Oh, it's so good to see it. Oh, Tim, thank you. <laughs> oh, don't thank me. Thank Kev. I just think outside the box. Oh, looking back, sofa wars. <laughs> Did get a bit out of hand. See ya. See ya. Now, that is the true spirit of Christmas. Uh, oh, it's gonna cost us a turkey dinner. And one for Jack and all, but you always make too much any Rod. Do you know, I did love that liqueur, but it was easier on the eye than it was on the backside. Yeah, this sofa was made for two. Do you know, the timing is perfect. And then his ears are coming round for Boxing Day nibbles. Love somewhere to recline. Boxing Day? Yeah. I mean, it's all slotted into place. Oh. Unless you don't think we should have invited them round for brunch, do you? It's oh. all gone. Everything. Do you know, I feel so stuffed I can pop. Yeah, you're two hours late. That turkey was massive. And now it's a big bag of bones in the bin. There might be some Brussels sprouts left, though. No, I've had them. Uh, oh, pardon me. Oh, well, excuse me, but I am very, very disappointed. Yeah, we're starving. Well, there's some frozen pizzas in the freezer. A frozen pizza for Christmas dinner? Do you know, I get up and do it for you, but I can't move. I don't think I'll ever move again. Oh, I'm not going to forget this frozen pizza. Hey, I'll eat anything. In fact, don't eat it up. No, no, I want hot food. Hey, there's a turkey in here. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Come on, sir, get the bed, John. Dinner will be on the table in 20 minutes. Well, we're not sure. We can wait 20 minutes. Oh, there's some satsumas and walnuts in that oh. bowl. Oh. Yeah, call it a starter. Oh, you had me going there, Sally. Yeah. Tim, well, it wasn't difficult. You're drunk. What about you? Did you guess? <laughs> no, 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 no. She yeah. had me. <laughs> oh, what's she like, eh? Cluck, cluck, clucking all night long. Uh, no, I find it quite soothing, actually. Well, it's the smell I'm not keen on. I mean, I dread to think what it's going to be like when the summer gets here. Well, don't worry about that. A fox or a cat will have them before then. Well, that would probably be for the best. I mean, what sort of a present is that to get your grandfather anyway? Chickens. What happened to driving gloves or slippers? Oh, Yasmin. Hi, we're just talking about you. Uh, oh, to be more precise, your fine feathered friends. Not mine. Sharif's, I can't stand them. Those beady little eyes always looking at you, following you. Don't look at them. I can't help it. They're almost hypnotic. They're a couple of chickens, not Durham Brown. Anyway, you are coming to our little soiree later, aren't you? I, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Oh. See you later. Bye. Right, we better get off to Rita's. So make sure this place stays spotless for when we get back. What am I going to do? Cray on the walls? I want to make a good impression. And make sure you look smart. Wear something with a collar. And that goes for you and Maddie as well. What? I didn't know there was a dress code. That's a point. Has she even got a dress? Maddie? <laughs> You're having a laugh. Well, she could borrow one of yours. Mummy, it's not going to happen. Sophie, I've embraced your Christianity, your decision not to go to university, and your lesbianism. You owe me. Have fun, won't you? Don't rush back, whatever you do. No, my dear, I'm just saying, Mum, with all the horrible stuff going on in the world... Self. What? Just give it a rest. Thank you, Maddie. How could you embarrass me like this? I wanted to give it back. No, you didn't. That was the deal. A deal? Hang on a minute. Are you saying that Kevin launders that sofa for Christmas? What am I going to tell Yasmin and Sharif? Well, they might not even notice. Are you being funny, Tim? My living room resembles a flaming squat. No offence, Maddie. What? Oh, perfect! So what's the game plan? I'm thinking. I hate leaving my chickens. Not another word about those creatures. What? Not another word. If you had any sense, you'd be more concerned about that awful scarf. What's wrong with it? It's a bit on the busy side. <laughs> Evening. Evening. Oh, apologies for the delay. My deranged husband insisted on singing his chickens to sleep. Uh, Leanne's on her way. Uh, we brought gulab jamun. Hey, the more the merrier. Hey, I'm only kidding. Aren't you going to invite us in? No. No. 
I know it's incredibly short notice, but we're going to have to cancel. Oh? Something unforeseen has unexpectedly happened. Uh, nothing serious, is it? Maybe we can help? No, that won't be necessary. I don't get the feeling you're not telling us something. Sal, so, right, this is bonkers. I know it's embarrassing, but you're going to have to tell them. Tell us what? Uh, the loose broke. <coughs> well, I never said it was earth-shattering or anything. And you've been worrying about this? Oh, Sally. Sally. <laughs> Sally. <laughs> Sally. <laughs> you and I are peas in the same pod. Oh. Well, then you understand. I understand that when nature calls, my lavatory is your lavatory. In the meantime, let's get the party started. Sorry, I can't let you do that. What? Look, what my mum is trying to say is that our house, it really... Mings. Mings? Sophie! Yeah, shut up. Well... In that case, Perhaps we should rearrange after all. Yeah. That probably would be for the best. <laughs> Bye, then. <laughs> I think they took it quite well. Think I might pop over and see Kev? Maybe not. Look. I'm sorry about all the broken loose stuff. It was just, it was the best that I could come up with. Mm, really, that's actually quite scary. Yeah, I think we might have over-egged it a tad. A tad? This is just a joke to you lot, isn't it? Oh, come on, Sal. No, I won't come on. I was really looking forward to this party. Mum, you're the one that's cancelled it. Yeah, and I didn't expect to be further humiliated in the process. I'm not going to think bad of you. Oh, but it's all right that they think my house stinks to high heaven. Well, who cares? It's not true. Oh, I care. Oh, I don't know why I yeah. bother. Get no, take your hands off me. And you two can wipe the smirks off your faces. Well, where are you going now? I'm going to put some alcohol into this, and then I'm going to go and have a very long bath. Hey, what are we going to do about all that grub? Oh, don't tempt me. Do you know, not that any of you noticed, but I thought I looked rather nice tonight. I'm gonna have to put this right. How? I don't know, but it's gonna have to be spectacular. It was a funny show. Oh, Tim, I am really not in the mood. Right, you can open your eyes now. Ta-da! Goodness, I'm lost for words. Oh, it's nothing. Yeah, which is literally what he did. I heated up the nibbles. Just call it a late Christmas present. Oh. Now, if you'll excuse the seating arrangements, madam. Well, I suppose I could slum it just this once. Mm -hmm. Right, well, oh. our work here is done. There you go. Oh, but I'm hungry. Oh, this is amazing. It's not as amazing as you are. OK, on second thoughts. Uh. Hey, I owe you one. Yeah, too right, you do. See you later. Thank you. Who needs a sofa, eh? Oh, no, we'll hit the sails first thing. Can we have done this tomorrow? Shh. 